Welcome back to City Line. With me right now, I have the Tacoma Historical Society. And if you know me, you know how much I love everything that falls into history. So please join me in welcoming Michael Lafreniere in the beautiful Hawaiian print shirt. He is the managing director of Tacoma Historical Society. And this beautiful woman over here with the lovely craftsman home is Kim Davenport. She's the communications manager for Tacoma Historical Society. Welcome to you both. And thanks for being in my kitchen. Thank you. Happy Thank to be you. Here. <laughs> Michael, let's let's start with you first. Under normal circumstances, we'd be talking to you at this time of the year about the upcoming historic home uh, tour of Tacoma. But of course, this year uh, we've had to cancel that event. How has the cancellation impacted the Tacoma Historical Society? Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been very unfortunate we had to cancel. It's the second largest fundraiser of the year for the society. And I actually began thinking about this back in early February as I was reading more and more about the potential pandemic. And that seems so long ago now. Um, but the health concerns were obvious. Over a thousand people going through homes, over a hundred volunteer tour docents. Um, so I spoke to the tour committee and our board and it was decided in early March that we would have to forego the event. It represents a loss of over $32,000 in revenue for the organization and hard to make up that loss. Um, so we're hoping it's not a cancellation so much as a postponement perhaps to the fall. Um, donations are more important now more than ever. And, uh, and, and so we hope people will continue to support us in, in whatever way possible. Well, if I have any say, which I know I don't, but I want you to know that if you put those tours up virtually, you would become my nightly viewing. Um, <laughs> and I am very particular about what I put into my head before I go to bed, but um, it would make me feel so connected to my community. So that's my vote on that. Um, with Tacoma Historical Society Museum temporarily closed, Michael, how can people explore your current exhibit, Bank on Tacoma? Sure, it's a great exhibit um, looking at the history of banks in Tacoma going back to the late 1800s and how the local economy both shaped their history and vice versa. Um, so thanks to our presenting sponsor, Columbia Bank, on that exhibit uh, and with support from Heritage Bank as well, we had thorough research by a volunteer and former board member, Deb Friedman, who also wrote a companion book on the, the same topic, and that's available on Amazon. Um, the exhibit had just opened a few weeks before the closure. We felt really badly about that, that the public hadn't been able to see all the work done by the volunteers and staff. Um, so we decided to virtualize it. People can go on our website and view a 360 degree tour of the banking exhibit and encourage you to turn on the audio narration for that because Deb Friedman herself is providing audio commentary on the exhibit. Um, Kim, I understand that you are inviting the public to document their experience during COVID-19 pandemic. Can you tell us a little bit more about the diary project and what you're looking for? Yeah, absolutely. So we're welcoming really anyone in the community, you know, school children who are at home with parents, maybe trying to find activities that might help kids and families reflect on this experience. Um, but really anyone who has had thoughts about how this has impacted their lives. Uh, we really uh, would like to collect as much as we can for the benefit of future historians. And I know, um, as someone who's done historical research, often it's frustrating when you can't find documentation of something that, that you in the future uh, think is really important, but somehow no one back in the past thought it was important to document it. Uh, and so this is kind of a unique opportunity to jump in in the present and try to record what we're going through. So we have a, a really simple form on our website um, that allows anyone to submit uh, as short or long or as many times as they want, uh, just thoughts about what people are experiencing during this time. And we will collect all of those and archive them formally in our collection. 
you know, students and parents have been particularly impacted by this current situation with education moving from schools to living rooms to kitchens. Um, can you talk about the fact that your book, Rising Up Tacoma's 21 Disasters and Defeats, what a great title. It's now available as a free audio book. Yes. So this was one of the earliest titles in our 21 Tales series. Uh, and these are books that we produce every few years, really aimed at school aged children to help them understand stories from Tacoma's history. And we, through uh, sponsorships, are able to donate uh, hundreds of copies to Tacoma's schools, both public and private. So that's a project we've been proud of for many years. Uh, but this was another um, idea from Deb Friedman. Have to give her another shout out here. Uh, she was sitting at home, like many of us have been doing, coming up with what we think are great ideas, and then we share them with other people and see if they really turn out to be great ideas. Uh, and she volunteered to record an audio version of this book that she co-wrote several years ago and we uploaded it and it is now freely available to anyone who'd like to listen so it's aimed originally at roughly middle school age um, students but really i think anyone who wants to learn more about tacoma history can learn something from these stories and we thought we'd start with that title because it's all about tacomans coming together to rise past challenge which is exactly what we're trying to do right now I love that. And Deb Friedman has such a beautiful alto voice. Yes. Um, when she is in the studio, um, I find myself just loving to listen to her. And I sometimes forget I'm interviewing, but I have to, <laughs> her voice is so beautiful. Michael, are there any other books that you made available in this format as I asked that question while you were drinking? <laughs> yes, this is my Tacoma Arts Live Cup. Yay! <laughs> um, yes, we've also made available an audio recording of another book from our 21 Tales series. Um, it's called Leading Ladies, 21 of Tacoma's Women of Destiny. Now, the book was a companion book to our exhibit last year on the history of women leaders in Tacoma. And uh, we have hard copies of the book available as well. We're also working on an audio presentation of another book um, called Speaking Out, 21 of Tacoma's Social Justice and Civil Rights Champions. And it looks at the contributions of 21 local leaders who were champions of social justice and civil rights in Tacoma. People like Judge Jack Tanner, Ramona Bennett, former Mayor Harold Moss. And uh, it will be recorded um, by um, THS Board President Bill Barsma, also a former mayor. And that's a great book for students who are studying at home um, as we also offer a companion study guide for parents and teachers. So you have offered some really beautiful alternatives for those parents slash teachers and their students backslash coworkers. Um, <laughs> let's talk about if they are done listening and done reading. I understand you have some fun puzzles available. Um, yes, we do. We have a very uh, a couple of challenging crossword puzzles and, and a contest. Um, one is on Notable Tacomans. It's available on our website. And these are people who really made a big difference in Tacoma history, recognizable names, but still a challenge for longtime residents. So parents may have to help their, their students with this project. But it's a special challenge for some of our local historians on Facebook, like in the, uh, you know, you're from Tacoma Facebook group. Um, they, they, they will find it a challenge. Uh, winning entries will be entered into a drawing for free family membership and a choice of one of our 21 Tales books. Uh, THS members will be entered into a drawing for a complete three volume set of Hunt's History of Tacoma. Uh, it's worth over a hundred dollars and uh, if you're not a member, uh, you can become one by going to our website. Oh, that's fabulous. So speaking of websites and, and virtualness, Miss Kim, you were uh, the presenter for the THS monthly meeting. And rather than cancel it, you went uh, to making it, you went viral. You made it a YouTube um, experience. Can you talk a little bit about that experience and what was it like? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I think it's a really important step for 
uh, THS because we've, we've had a long tradition of our monthly meetings with guest speakers who often are local researchers, maybe someone who's just written a book, uh, definitely really expert people on local history. And those are wonderful experiences. Um, all, all of the many hundreds of those that have happened over the years are archived on our website, but we've never recorded them. And so <clears throat> if you miss a meeting, you miss that experience. And so I'm kind of hoping that this is one of those experiences where after we come out of this situation and we do start meeting in person again, we will still keep recording our meetings because it's great to know that after it's over, someone can still go watch it. So it was, it was fun. I mean, I, I missed, you know, actually presenting to a real room full of people. Uh, and I was presenting to my webcam, which is not the same at all. <laughs> um, but knowing that, that it would be recorded and then people who couldn't watch, you know, that night at 7 p.m., I was able to send them the link and they could watch it later. That's great to know that we can do that. And I, I really hope we continue to in the future. Well, and I think that you should include those meetings in your COVID-19 diaries. Oh, yeah. there you go. Good thinking. <laughs> so, Michael, uh, before I get to say goodbye to you and Kim, I have just a couple of minutes here. Is there any more exciting news from Tacoma Historical Society that you want to leave us with? Um, sure. Perhaps the biggest news is that we've begun looking at the likely relocation of our history museum. Um, to a location over by Wright Park in the historic stadium district uh, for several reasons. We've basically outgrown our current space for storage of our collection and uh, a new space would accommodate that growing collection as well as provide space for both temporary and permanent exhibits. It will offer better and free parking more accessible for our visitors. And frankly, the, the cost of commercial space downtown is rising significantly. So um, those things are driving us to, to potentially relocate. More details on that specific location will be revealed in a couple of months as mm -hmm. the space is being made ready for our move. Um, but also we're working on a new exhibit for that space. Uh, it's called Tacoma Music History, looking at the people and places that have made Tacoma's cultural legacy so interesting. And with the support of uh, Ted Brown Music, Kim is working on a companion 21 Tales book that will highlight 21 noteworthy musicians in Tacoma history. So we're very much looking forward to that. And, and Kim, uh, is there gonna be a mention of Mr. Bing Crosby in that book? You know, there isn't because I know so many people already know that story. And my goal is like our other 21 Tales books to make people aware of new stories that they don't already know. Um, so yeah, that's a very exciting project. I really love that. Share that with people. So Kim, how can people get involved and stay involved and keep up with what uh, Tacoma Historical Society is doing during this unusual time? Yeah, so both Michael and I have mentioned our website several times. Uh, so that's probably the first thing to, to write down if you're interested in following more, www.tacomahistory.org. And on our homepage, we have sort of a permanent link through this time period. It's called Stay Involved During COVID-19. And we're keeping that page as sort of a running update of all these things we've been talking about. So whenever we release some new virtual content, it will appear there. If we have an event announcement, it will appear there. So that's a great way for people to stay in touch. And then of course, social media, um, we're keeping up our pretty much daily posts of interesting historical tidbits on Facebook and Instagram and, and Twitter. So people can find us in those places too. We are living in unparalleled times right now. And every day we are making history by just getting up and putting one foot in front of the other. So. I want to say thank you to both of you, Kim and Michael, for leading the way, uh, helping us look around and to really take a moment to be present about what is going on around us and knowing that this is history and that we will have a moment to say, yes, I was a part of that and yes, I was alive then. So much love to both of you. Please take care of you and your families. Michael, get a haircut. <laughs> and much love to you both. And I want to have you back on the comfy couch or in my kitchen very, very soon. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. My pleasure. We have much more to come on City Line. 
Don't go away. We'll be right back. 